Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to take a look into functional components. Well, in React, there are two types of components, functional components and React components. In this lecture, we will take a look into functional components and in next lecture, we will take a look into class components. A functional component is basically a JavaScript function or ES6 arrow function that returns a React element. Well, here, React element is nothing but a JSX code. Well, we will understand what is JSX and how to write a JSX code in upcoming lectures. So just try to understand the React element is nothing but a JSX code and JSX allows us to write HTML code inside a JavaScript code. Next functional components always starts with a capital letter. So this is the important naming convention. Whenever you create a functional component, make sure that the functional component should start with capital letter. Next functional component takes props as a parameter if necessary. Well, this props is optional. If you want to pass the data from one component to another component, then we can use this props. All right. Next, let us go ahead and let us understand about this functional component with examples. So here, let's head over to the VS Code, and here go to src folder. Within that, let's create a new folder and let's call it as components. Next, within a components folder, let's create a new file and let's give name as welcome.js. Well, you can give the extension for this file as a JS or JSX. Well, some of the developers prefer using JS as extension and some of the developers prefer using JSX as a file extension. Well, you can use either one because React supports both. Right. So here in our case, let us use JS as an extension. But in upcoming React projects, we are going to use JSX as an extension as well. All right. Hit enter. Now we have created welcome js file next within a welcome.js file let's create a functional component named welcome so here look at here the syntax function well as i mentioned earlier functional component is nothing but a javascript function or es6 arrow function that returns a jsx okay so here let's create a function function and followed by the name welcome and notice here again as per the naming convention the functional component should start with a capital letter and i have given the capital letter w okay so as this is a function so here let us have open close braces and open close curly braces next this function returns a jsx code well jsx is nothing but a javascript extension that allows us to write a html code within a javascript code well this is the javascript function right so within a javascript function we can write the HTML code like this. Let us say we want to print the heading welcome Ramesh. Okay, so this is the JSX code. Well, JSX is nothing but a JavaScript extension that allows us to write HTML code within a JavaScript code. So in next upcoming lectures, we'll understand more about JSX. As of now, just understand JSX is nothing but a JavaScript extension that allows us to write HTML code within a JavaScript, JavaScript code. Okay, perfect. Now we have created a simple functional component named welcome component. Next, in order to use this component in other components, we have to export this component. For example, here, just type export default and then component name welcome. Well, just remember in order to use this functional component in other components, we have to export this component first like this. Okay, next, let's go to app.js file and let us import this component. So go to app.js, go to app root component, go to div and here let us remove this h1 element and here let us use welcome component. So here just type welcome and make sure that this welcome component is imported at the top and let us close this welcome component over here. Alright, so this is how we use the component inside other component. And notice here the important point we have exported this welcome component using export keyword and we have imported this welcome component in an app component using import keyword all right so this is basically es6 module feature we can export the component using export keyword and we can import the component using import keyword all right great next let us save this file and let's go back to browser and here you can see welcome Ramesh. Alright, so this is how we can create the functional component and we can use in a other components. And again, I have mentioned like 
component is a reusable reusable means we can use this component as many times as we want for example if you go to app component and here we can reuse this component many times many times for example here let me use one more time and just save this file and go back to browser you can see welcome Ramesh okay so this is how the component is reusable in a react application all right perfect next let's go to welcome.js file so and if you go to presentation a functional component is basically a javascript function or es6 arrow function well here we have created this functional component using javascript function but we can also create this functional component using es6 arrow function so let us go ahead and let us rewrite this functional component using el6 arrow function so here let me copy this and let me paste it over here and let me comment out this so here let me show you how we can convert the javascript function into arrow function so in case of arrow function the function keyword is not required and in case of arrow function we should have a variable const welcome and then flat arrow symbol so this is the arrow function okay next if the arrow function contains a single statement then we can remove the open and close curly braces and also the return keyword for example let us simplify this just remove this open and return keyword and also the close curly braces all right so this is the functional component using arrow function all right next let us save this file and let's go back to browser and you can see welcome Ramesh if you refresh you can see the same output welcome Ramesh all right so this is how we can use the JavaScript ES6 arrow function to create the functional component all right so functional component is a JavaScript function or ES6 arrow function that returns a JSX JSX is nothing but a JavaScript extension that allows us to write HTML code within a JavaScript code next in order to use this component we have to first export it using export keyword next we have to import this component using import keyword and then we can use in the other components like this next functional component takes props as a parameter if necessary well here we can use props to transfer the data from one component to another component especially from parent component to child component for example here we have app component as a parent component and welcome as a child component and here let us say we want to you know transfer the data from app component to welcome component then we can use props so props stands for properties and we can pass the properties from parent component to child component for example here go to welcome and here just type name and then give name as Ramesh okay next we want to get this Ramesh in a welcome component so go to welcome component and in order to get the Ramesh in a welcome component we have to use props so here we can pass props as a parameter to this functional component and next in order to access these props we can use open close curly braces so here just remove this Ramesh and let's say open close curly braces and then type props and then name okay so this is how we can use props to transfer the data from parent component to child component next let's go back to app.js go to app component next here also let us use the name and let us pass the name for example let's say umesh okay so this is how we can use the props to dynamically pass the data from one component to another component especially from parent component to child component okay next let us save this file let's go back to browser and here you can see welcome Ramesh welcome Umesh so here we are passing the data dynamically to the component for this first welcome component we are passing name as a Ramesh for this second welcome component we are passing name as a Umesh and in a welcome component we are getting that name using props okay so this is all about functional components in next upcoming lectures we will understand more about props like how we can pass the object or array and how we can get that object timed array using props we'll understand more about props in upcoming lectures all right great in next lecture we'll take a look into class components all right great i will see you in the next lecture